Hey, my name is Jakub Piesik and today I want to welcome you on the second episode of the Windows 365 series. I want to show you on this episode how to configure the hybrid Azure Active Directory join for our machines. So let's start the demo. Before you start configuring that policies, you need to have a configured VPN connection between Azure and your organization data center or your home lab. To do that, please visit the movie, which I'm linking right now on the movie, or check the description for more information. So if you have properly configured the connection between Azure and your uh, company network, you need to go to the Azure network connection, click create button, and select the hybrid Azure Active Directory join. On this step, you need to provide a name for your connection. For example, connection to the Detroit office, Warsaw office, etc., etc. You can use the different VPN connection, of course. And the next step is select the subscription resource group with, with our uh, VPN connection, select the virtual network and the subnet. As you see, I'm selecting the devices subnet. Next step is provide a data necessary to join the, the domain. First, I need to select the ADDNS domain name. I need to provide the OO organization unit, which will be taken from the Azure, sorry, from the Active Directory users and computers. I will show you how to do that right now. I created a special container for the CPC devices, and as you see, I'm providing the distinguishing name from the from from properties of that object to the organization on it on the hybrid Azure Active Directory join on the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. I will be manually typing that value. The next step is providing the Azure Active Directory username UPN and one is what is important you need to select the account which is already synced to the Azure Active Directory. So check first on the portal Azure if it's already synced. If the account is synced, copy the user principal name, paste it on the AD username UPN, type the password for that account, retype the password, click the next button to see the final screen. Confirm if you have properly configured everything and click the review and create button. When the connection will be created properly, there will be a status running check. That means the Azure is checking if the connection is properly configured. I mean the connection between VPN and data, local data center. And if the domain joining is also properly, is also properly configured. If you uh, configured something wrong, you will get the error. And you need to check in more details what's going on and how to resolve that issue, like on my case. So you see on my screen, I got the status checks failed, so I am clicking on the check failed to see more details. First step is Azure Active Directory device sync, click view details because it is a warning. Uh, it's related that there's information that I didn't uh, run my machine with the Azure AD sync uh, agent earlier. The next step is related to the domain join. The next two steps are related to the wrong configuration of the DNS on, of my virtual network. To fix that issue, I'm opening my resource group, going to the virtual network, select the DNS server from the settings tab and selecting the custom instead the default Azure. I need to provide my DNS from the local network where the MS laptop domain is hosted. It will be the internal address, of course, because I have the DNS server on the internal network, clicking the save. When the save 
when the changes will be saved, going back to the connection hybrid and click the retry on the tab button to retry the check for the connection for the hybrid join. It will take a while. In the meantime, I can check the Active Directory users and computers if there is a machine for the domain check. And it is, because it was visible. That means the connection was properly configured and there is a final check for, the, for our uh, virtual network connection. And after some time, the status will be checked successfully, with warning or without warnings and that means you can start configure the necessary details. If you click on that check successfully with warnings, you can get more details what was goes wrong. On my case, it will be related to the CrowdSync from the local Active Directory. So the next step is going back to the devices, Windows 365, provisioning policy and create policy button. Next, you need to provide a name for that policy, like on the previous movie, where I reconfigured the Azure Active Directory join. Please remember that name will be that name of that policy will be visible for the end users. So it should be clear for them what machine they should use. Provide the description if this is necessary. Join type hybrid Azure Active Directory join network, which we created. And I'm selecting the gallery image, like a previous Windows 11 Enterprise with Microsoft 365 apps. Next, language region, select a service. Assignment, I'm providing the group of the users, which will be allowed to create that cloud pieces. Select. Click Next, Review and Create, click Create button. And the policy was properly configured and created. After that, you need to go to the Alt Code PC. And you see for the Franex Zavada, the machine is on the provisioning state and it will take a while. After around 30 to 40 minutes, the machine will be provisioned and you see the status is provisioned and we can open the details from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. This is the overview of that machine. If you go to the properties, hardware, this is the standard information which is for the all devices. If you go to the group membership, you will see to what group this machine is belonged to. And if you go to the device configuration, you will see what profiles was applied for during the provisioning before the user will log on on the first. When the user will log on, this policy, there will be much more of the policies. Now user need to go to the windows365.microsoft.com web address, log on using own credential. I will use the Franex Avada account, as you see on the screen. Insert the password and skip the multi-factor authentication for now. And the portal is opening. And Franex Avada has only one machine. And as I said earlier, there is information about the deployment profile. And that should be nice view for the end user. User should know. And if I click the connect, the session will be opened. Also, again, connect. Now the connection to the Cloud PC will be established, and we have the logon window again. And what is interesting, there will be a autopilot phase, like on the standard Azure Active Directory join machines. This pro this process will take around 30 minutes. Of course, it's related to how many profiles application you have deployed to your device. I just trimmed the video here and there's a desktop and user can start work. First, of course, the Microsoft Teams is opening and after some time, the machine is fully able to use by end user. And we will do initial check right click, show more options, properties and as you can see the machine is named full cpc blah 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 mslab dot, 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 dot top advanced system properties 
and full computer name and domain is mslab.com. Now I will try to ping the machine from my on-premises on -premises network. First I will ping the domain controller and it's responding to my ping. Now I'm trying to ping the non turn it on machine and turn it on machine. And it's everything because I properly configured the hybrid Active Directory domain join uh, for my machines and the end user is able to use the on-premises environment without the VPN connection. And yeah, mm, and there is no need to use the VPN client for that. Of course, you can still use the GPOs because this machine is fully exist on the local Active Directory, users and computers, as I uh, as I show you earlier, and yeah, it's everything. So thank you for watching that movie, and see you on the next movie where I show you how to use the custom images for the Windows 365 environment. Thanks. Bye.